Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking about this palette by Dior. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. So I picked up the Mitza palette. This was named after Mitza Bricard, Dior's muse, and the woman who inspired Mitza, the perfume. And it says that a famous quote of hers is, when a man wants to send you flowers, say my florist is Cartier. <laughs> it says she is famous for her love of leopard pattern and pearls. So if you look up Mitza and the description of this um, palette, it says this palette is has leopard-like shades of brown and gold. So that makes sense that it goes with her name. So I thought this was one of the prettier ones. I just wanted to try it on. So I'm just gonna show you application and we'll talk about it at the Okay, end. I have on the Air Flash um, <laughs> foundations. If you did not see or if I haven't posted yet, I'm not sure where this is in sequence, but I am doing a dedicated video to these because I've got two different shades here, but they're both three. So one's three, one is three warm. The other one is three warm peach or peach warm. One of those different undertones, supposedly the same shade. So I do have that on. I use the clay de peau loose powder to set. I also used the, I used a different um, foundation. No, I used a different concealer this time. I used the Hourglass in Apricot just for my darker areas here. And then I have on, of course, Sizzly under eye concealer in four and a La Prairie eye concealer in four as well. I don't set with that. I've got eyebrows. I also did go in with a bit of bronzer, uh, the Terracotta Matte Guernlain just very lightly around the perimeter. And this one is in medium. And then I also did go in with a Dior blush. I was thinking, do I have a blush? I do. I have this, I haven't really used it um, since I got it, I think. <laughs> but it's the one in Rosy Glow 04 Coral. So that's what I have now. It's a really beautiful flush of color. I love this. I am glad I remembered I had it because it is very beautiful. And of course I did go in with a little bit of hummingbird powder just on the, um, in the center. So I have the three Dior palettes, but I'm going to use this one because I think this is the one that caught my eye first. So I wanted to use this one first. So this one is Mitza. Yeah, I just thought it was so pretty. I really liked the colors. So we're just gonna give this a try. I'm not quite sure like what order or where I'm going to put things. And I didn't take a picture yet. So I usually like to take a picture first, but I was really wanting to just use them. So, okay, I'm taking this Wayne Goss brush and I think I'm going to take this color. Hmm. Okay, it's hard to choose what to go in with because this is really shimmery here, but let's go in with this um, over most of my lid. Let's, let's see where this ends up. Yeah, it's got a lot of shimmer. So I'm going to go on my eyelid. Is this distorted, this mirror? I feel like it's a little not as flat as it could be, okay. Um, and then up. So we'll just do this one color first. Beautiful shimmer on it. I do have the Hourglass Eye Primer though. It's interesting, a little bit of creasing. Maybe I put too much there. Um, but we're just gonna go up onto the lid and above. That is a funny shape it's making, huh? I don't know why. That's a pretty one shade kind of thing. Okay, so let's go in with this color. It's also a shimmery color, but it's like a mocha color. Going in with Wayne Goss number 17. Let's go in with this color as a, like a crease color. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but let's clean this off a little bit. That's like my one matte shade and I hate to <laughs> go in and disturb the pattern there, but maybe cause I haven't taken a picture yet. If I can pick it up lightly, maybe it's not matte. Let's, let's find out. That's really pretty. Okay, and then let's go in with this deepest color here. We'll use this Wayne Goss number 20. I'm 
going to take this color, this a mocha color and run it underneath. I've got a bristles number E05 PS. It's like a little pencil brush. Oh, you know what would go really pretty with these are some of my Chanel eyeliners. I kind of want to try this eyeliner. I've got the Chanel, the bronze one, the new one that I got. So I'm going to go and try this. I'll be right back. Okay, I did what I go in with. I actually, you know what I did? I used, um, <laughs> okay, start over. I went in with my, I'm just looking for everything I'm talking about. Where? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I went in with, yes, my new Chanel eyeliner. It's like a, um, it's like a shimmery brown liquid liner. So that's what I went in with for the liquid liner. So that's why I think it gives definition, but it's not too much. Speaking of definition and not too much, I've said this about Brun Agape. That is what is in the waterline here. I did think something like Eros would be beautiful or, um, Oh, Ske would be beautiful with this, but I went with Brun Agape and I actually went in the tight line area with Cassis because there is that like burgundy purplish color in the palette. So I did go in with that. So, and then I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes. I can't remember the name of it, the push-up mascara, that one that I like. So that's what I did with eyes. I think it turned out really nice. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, and then the trick is, okay, always, so this, I don't show this on camera, I don't know why. It's not like a secret or anything, I just don't do it. But this is something I normally do with my makeup, eye makeup, when I'm done with this part. So I have a little concealer brush. I have a little bit of the Clay de Poe Concealer in Mocha. Um, and I just take a little bit and I apply it in this darkest area here, just kind of cancel out just because of the anatomy of my eye. Yeah, so this always helps. It just brings that forward a little bit. Okay, next let's go in with lip. I had a little bit of trouble figuring out what to do with the lip, but I looked at the palette and I thought this might be pretty. It's um, one of the Chanel lipsticks. It's in um, Camellia Grenat in mm, 617. It's one of the Rouge Allure Velvets. Okay, that's not the color I remember, but we're gonna, it's a little bit more violet than I remember. Going for something a little bit rosier, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't use a shimmery shade. Okay, hold on. Let's do that. Let me get a brush. Um, I'm gonna take this same bristles brush. I'm gonna clean it off though. It's the E05P5. I'm going to just take a little bit of that shimmery color this one right here. And let's go in the corner. Yeah, it's got a bit more evident shimmer here than the other ones. It's more of a micro glitter. Yeah, I feel like my lipstick doesn't really go now. Um, let me see, what can I do to fix this? Let me see what I can do. What else do I have? Whoop. Where am I? This is what I had in mind, more like Indian Rose. Tom Ford? I don't know if this is it yet. Let's see. I wanted a little bit more warmth. Should we go in with that new um, Sukyu? Because it has orange. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I'll just add a little bit because it's very, it's very orange. I don't want to go with that orange, but I do want to warm up this lip a little bit. I think that's better. That's not exactly what I was looking for, but that at least is better. Okay, and that is it for my look with Mitsa. I think it's a beautiful palette. Yeah, it really, like I said, this one caught my attention for a reason. I'm not even holding the right one. Okay, this one, yes. So pretty. I think this color caught my attention, this one, this one, this one. Not so much that mocha color, but I thought it worked really well up above the crease. Beautiful. So if you are looking for a palette, one of their palettes, I think this is one of the prettiest ones. Of course, I will do looks with all of the other ones as well, but I'm very happy with this one. So I hope that helped you out in case you're interested. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.